Due to the wide variety of industrial hoses and fittings available, determination of the correct crimp diameter for a particular hose and fitting combination has too often been more art than science. With the introduction of the industrial hose crimp calculator on the custom crimp ACT controllers, it is now possible to quickly and accurately crimp industrial hoses to the hose and fitting manufacturer's specifications without the use of charts and graphs. The ACT, or Automatic Crimp Technology Controller, is a patented controller available on crimpers from Custom Crimp with many outstanding and easy to use features. The Industrial Hose Crimp Calculator is part of the ACT Controller software package on Custom Crimp crimpers capable of crimping industrial hoses. All that is required of the operator is a few simple measurements and the Industrial Hose Crimp Calculator will quickly set up the crimper to accurately crimp most combinations of industrial hoses and fittings. While the determination of accurate crimp diameters is a significant factor in quickly and accurately crimping industrial hoses, Custom Crimp has also introduced the industrial fitting pusher to speed and simplify the often difficult process of fitting insertion. The combination of the ACT controller with the industrial crimp calculator and the industrial fitting pusher can make industrial hose crimping fast, accurate, and profitable. Let's look first at the Industrial Hose Crimp Calculator. The Industrial Hose Crimp Calculator software is included on all custom crimp crimpers capable of crimping industrial hoses. Setup, additional features, and basic operation of the ACT controller and associated crimpers will not be covered in this video as they are covered in separate videos and instruction manuals. Setting up the ACT controller for crimping an industrial hose is a simple process. From the Enter Crimp screen, press the Industrial Crimp button and the Measure button, which will bring up the Industrial Hose Crimp Calculator. Simply measure the nominal hose size, which is the inside diameter of the hose being crimped, and press the Nominal Hose Size button to enter the hose size. Note that the hose size must be entered as a decimal dimension. The ACT controller will supply three decimal places for all entries. Therefore, a 4 inch nominal hose size would be entered as 4000 and the ACT controller would respond with 4.000 inches. At this point, there are two options to determine the hose outside diameter. Pressing the button to the right of the hose wall thickness button will bring up a keypad where the measured wall thickness can be entered. Pressing the right arrow button will bring up another hose wall thickness button where up to three wall thickness measurements can be entered and the ACT controller will average the three measurements and calculate the hose outside diameter. The second option for determining hose outside diameter is to measure the circumference of the hose with either a pie tape or a conventional tape measure. If a pie tape is available, the outside diameter can be read directly from the tape. If a pie tape is not available, a conventional tape measure can be used the fractional measurement must be converted to a decimal. This measurement can be divided by 3.14 to determine the outside diameter of the hose. Pressing the Measure Hose OD button will bring up a full and one hundredths button. For example, if the hose outside diameter measures 4.50 inches, press the full button and enter 4, and press the one hundredths button and enter 5.0. The ACT controller will then calculate the correct settings from this data. Either technique may be used to determine hose outside diameter, but both are not required. Next, measure and enter the wall thickness of the hose ferrule. Finally, enter a compression factor. While this factor can vary slightly, 22% is a good starting point, and this number can be adjusted slightly if required for a particular hose and fitting combination. Press the process button and the ACT controller will calculate the finished crimp diameter. Install the correct die set and proceed to crimp the hose in the normal manner. Before setting up crimp parameters for industrial hose, however, you first need to prepare the hose for crimping and insert the appropriate fitting. This can often be a time consuming and frustrating process. The custom crimp industrial fitting pusher can greatly simplify and speed up the fitting insertion process. This highly portable 10-ton, 110-volt unit 
makes inserting industrial fittings into any hose from 2 to 12 inches quick, safe, and simple. While the square, clean cutoff of any hose being crimped is important, it is even more critical with the larger industrial hoses, as a cut which is not perfectly square can make a more significant difference on the larger hoses and prevent the hose from seating properly at the end of the ferrule. Make certain that the hose ends are square and trim them if necessary. Slide the ferrule over the hose and mark the hose at the point where the ferrule is fully seated. On the particular ferrule shown, note that the slots in the closed end of the ferrule are also an indication of when the hose is fully seated in the ferrule. Lubricate the fitting with an approved hose fitting lubricant. Use only an approved hose fitting lubricant which will not soften or deteriorate the hose inner liner. The highly flexible strap tie down system easily adapts to securely clamp hoses from 2 to 12 inches. For the smaller hoses the straps are passed under the frame rails as shown. And for the larger hoses the straps are passed directly over the hose and threaded through the ratcheting clamp mechanism. Choose an appropriate routing for the tie-down straps and lock the hose in position with the ratcheting tie-down clamps. Make certain that the hose is positioned such that the frame of the fitting pusher will not interfere with the fitting being inserted. While the ram has a 16 inch stroke, there may be instances where it's desirable to move the ram forward. The spacers furnished with the fitting pusher are easily installed and will add flexibility to the fitting insertion process. After the fitting has been started in the hose, make certain that the ferrule is fully bottomed on the end of the hose. Check to see that the ferrule aligns with the mark made initially. On the particular ferrule shown in the video, also note that the end of the hose is visible through the slots in the ferrule. Actuate the hydraulic pump and press the fitting into the hose until it is seated correctly. Adding to the versatility of the industrial fitting pusher, an easily installed elbow fitting adapter is also furnished. Installation of the elbow fitting adapter is a simple procedure and once installed it enables the fitting pusher to handle a wide variety of fittings which would be difficult to insert with conventional methods. In summary, the industrial fitting pusher will eliminate the need for the more traditional methods of industrial fitting insertion and the wasted time and potential fitting damage often associated with them. Industrial fitting insertion becomes quick, simple, safe, and profitable with the Custom Crimp Industrial Fitting Pusher. Visit our website at www.customcrimp.com or contact Custom Crimp for additional information on industrial hose crimpers capable of handling industrial hoses up to 10 inches in diameter as well as the ACT controller software and accompanying tools like the fitting pusher that make industrial hose crimping accurate, safe, and profitable.